small phones everywhere because if you want a small phone with a lot of power this is probably the best bet yet uh, the closest thing on the Android side of the camp would be the likes of a Sony's Xperia Z5 compact which is a 4.6 display this packs a 4 inch display but as you can see on the front that's just the picture let's get inside the box and see what you get so I mean typical Apple Apple fashion it's a compact box nice and tidy nice and clean so we're just gonna peel off the cellophane this is the uh, the 64 gigabyte model as you can see here unlike the 6s and the 6 before it the SE only comes in two storage options so you only get a 16 or a 64 gigabyte model um, so there's no one two way option and unlike the pros as well the iPad Pro there's no um, 256 option either naturally so peeling off the lid here as with every Apple unboxing first and foremost you get the device itself so this is the silver option the 64 gigabyte silver option it looks exactly like the iPhone 5s um, I mean Side by side, you won't be able to tell. The only thing that denotes this is the SE is literally the letters SE here. Um, but aside from that, you get the same uh, squared body, diamond chamfer edging there. Um, it's a completely flat design as well. There's no camera bump because it's thicker. It's thick, I believe it's 7.6 millimeters thick. It weighs 113 grams, so it's a gram heavier than the iPhone 5S. Um, but on the inside, it's, it's all... Uh, success pretty much there are a few caveats a few differences there but aside from that yeah so I'm going to turn that on whilst it's booting up I'm going to peel off this film here the protective film just on the front and there is actually a film on the back which just seems to cover the uh, camera surround and the metal there um, aluminium don't know whether it's 7000 series 4000 series aluminium no 7000 series sorry Apple hasn't specified what aluminium is um, so we're not entirely sure there um, and there's nothing on their site um, that says either way, just a standard tray. Then we have the classic design by Apple bump. So this is where you will find, if I open this up, it's where you find the SIM tray tool. This is the newer design, the kind of paperclip style one, rather than the flat pressed metal with a little instruction how to pop up the SIM tray. And then inside we have the obligatory Apple stickers and the um, very simple kind of diagrammatical view of how to get up and running with the hardware controls of the SE. And then the last bits of the box are, of course, the uh, signature Apple AirPods, which are not the best headphones in the world, but the controller is handy. You can pause and play YouTube videos as well as pause and play music and things like that. Um, it has its its uses. Um, those are there, that's cool. Uh, as we have a UK model, we have a UK plug adapter. Pro tip, if you haven't tried this yet, is if you have an iPad charger, charge an iPhone with an iPad and it'll charge faster. And Apple actually says, that's completely fine to do that's not going to harm your device which is cool and good to know and then we have the standard lightning connector i can't remember how long this lead is probably half a meter and i guess maybe shorter um and that's about it so we have you know clearly the uh classic hello there's no sim card in this phone yet this is not a carrier lock version so i'm just going to try and set it up as far as i can without having to put in an apple id but um whilst we're looking at the screen i'll just take you through some of the other hardware things so on the inside, it is pretty much an iPhone 6S. That means it has the same uh, Apple A9 chipset with the M9 co-processor, two gigabytes of RAM. So it's really, really fast. This four inch display is not a Retina HD display, it's just Retina HD, which means that there's actually fewer pixels to drive than on the 6S. So theoretically speaking, the performance will actually be better from this than it would be on the 6S because the graphics and the chips, it doesn't have to work as hard to drive as many pixels on this smaller display. In the hand, you can see, you know, it fits really nicely in the hand. If you want a smaller phone, this really has to be the option to go for if you have the money. But it's notably cheaper than the base model iPhone um, 6S for the 64 gigabyte, the larger SE. So the SE really is, in Apple terms, now I stress that, value for money um, as well as the chipset we have the first gen touch id sensor the same one that you find on the iphone 6 so it's slower than the one on the s on the uh, 6s but that's good because i don't know if you've used the 6s but it's so quick that if you have notifications and you're waking your phone up by touching the home button you'll actually probably miss the no notifications every time you wake up the screen with the home button because it registers your fingerprint so quickly and it unlocks the SE also supports Apple Pay, which this, the 5S did not. So you have Apple Pay support, you've got Wi-Fi calling support, Volte support as well. Um, and on the back, we have a 12 megapixel camera, the same camera that you get with the uh, 6S and the 6S Plus, which is a huge benefit for such a small device. There's no other device at this size that can shoot uh, with the kind of quality of camera that Apple produces. 
and especially because it also can record in 4K. So this is the smallest phone and possibly the smallest camera with the exception of maybe a GoPro that can shoot in 4K, which is kind of awesome. Um, so that is the iPhone SE in its quick unboxing form. And the other thing I want to show you as I have it is the uh, official iPhone SE leather case. So uh, this is £29 directly from Apple. It comes in two colours right now. It comes in black and midnight blue, which is what we have here. So I'm just going to peel off this film. This is a real leather case. Apple makes a big deal of the fact that it'll um, age and weather over time with you, so don't be upset if it looks a bit beaten up. It looks exactly the same as the cases that came with the iPhone 5 and the 5S. They have a nice felt lining on the inside. It's got a little uh, bit of text embossed there. I don't know if you can see that, just saying iPhone. And if we just snap that on the uh, SE here, it should pop in fairly well. So yeah, it looks good. Uh, if you do want a case, chances are you'll get a case because it's an iPhone and, and they get dinged up pretty easily. Then you can buy this case from Apple, but I have a sneaking suspicion you can also buy any case or use any old case if you had an iPhone 5 or a 5S. Chances are they'll all work with the SE as well because the dimensions are exactly the same. The thickness, height and width are all the same. So that is a really quick look at the iPhone SE unbox for you now. And if you have any questions about this phone, you can drop us a line down below in the comments and you can read the full review soon on recombo.com slash mobile. Thanks for watching.